They have 10 eyes, 6 pairs of legs, have lived on Earth for over 450 million years, and their pale blue blood saves lives and costs $15,000 per liter. And this is not a fantasy creature from a Hollywood movie. Meet Ziphosura. Ziphosura Y are huge arthropods, reaching sizes up to 60 centimeters in length, the first representatives of which appeared on the planet more than 450 million years ago. Not only the size of Ziphosura is distinctive, but also, in principle, their appearance. At the end of the long tail there is a sword-shaped spike, and on the back there is a massive shield, reminiscent in shape of a horse's hoof, and this feature is reflected in the English name of the Ziphosura horseshoe crab. Externally, these animals are very similar to prehistoric crabs, when compared with the fossils that have come down to us. Although, strictly speaking, they are not essentially crabs, and their closest relatives are spiders and scorpions. These arthropods live mainly on the coasts of Southeast Asia and even in the Russian Far East. There are also many of them on the east coast of the United States. The horseshoe crab uses its shell as a boat when it swims. Accordingly, it swims on its back with its belly up. The miracle crab has five pairs of eyes. Functionally, it uses two pairs of eyes, classic, located very close to each other, with which the horseshoe crab looks forward. There is a pair of side eyes to observe the events of life around. Each of the six pairs of horseshoe crab paws also has its own purposes. The front ones are exclusively for capturing females. With them he attaches himself to a large female for mating. With their hind legs and focusing on their tail, horseshoe crabs burrow into the mud. But the remaining paws are used not only for their intended purpose for walking and bathing, but also help the jaws crush and grind food. remaining virtually unchanged since they first crawled across the earth more than 450 million years ago. These ancient creatures, sometimes called living fossils, have outlasted almost all other species, largely thanks to their incredibly strong immune systems. They have survived five mass extinctions. The only living witness of the Paleozoic era. People are very dependent on horseshoe crabs, or rather, on their blood, which, among other things, is used to determine the purity of medicines. By the way, the COVID vaccine was also created using their blood. The blood of horseshoe crabs has a bluish tint. Due to the predominance of copper rather than iron, the blood of these living fossils has a unique property. It coagulates when even the smallest amount of pathogenic bacteria or other foreign microorganisms enters it, turning into jelly. In this way, the horseshoe crab's immune system protects other organs from damage. When it comes into contact with toxins or bacteria, an instant reaction occurs. The coagulogen coagulates and blocks foreign particles inside itself. This allows these aquatic inhabitants not to become infected with infectious diseases. Based on this coagulogen, people have learned to do LOL tests, which are used to check medical instruments and operating rooms. Thanks to these tests, hundreds of thousands of people around the world get to operating tables in a timely manner and avoid complications from infections that enter their bodies. The blue blood of horseshoe crabs, or more specifically the hemolymph, is used to detect endotoxins. By testing new medical preparations using an extract made from the cells of this hemolymph, scientists can be absolutely sure that they do not contain bacteria or their metabolic products, which can then cause harm to humans. Only the blood of horseshoe crabs has this amazing property. Horseshoe crabs are usually caught during their breeding season, from May to June, since at this time they get closest to the shore. Caught horseshoe crabs are sent to laboratories, where up to 30% of their hemolymph is removed. The horseshoe crabs are then returned to their natural habitat. According to recent estimates, about 30% of donors die after the procedure, and female crabs are less likely to mate. Scientists estimate that if things continue at this rate, by the middle of the century the number of horseshoe crabs will be reduced by a third. That's why wildlife conservationists want to end the practice of milking these crabs.
Is it possible to create an artificial analog of the blue blood of horseshoe crabs? Can. Such an analog already exists. It is called recombinant factor C, RFC. A component similar to blood is produced here by genetically modified insect cells. Since 2021, the analysis method using this analog has been officially recognized by the medical community in Europe. However, this analog still requires additional testing and comparison of the results using RFC with the results obtained on the hemolymph of horseshoe crabs. Could a person pass by an amazing creature and not taste it? Of course not. Horseshoe crabs do not have any fleshy body parts suitable for consumption, with the exception of eggs. This is what most large migratory birds, turtles and other marine animals feed on. The eggs are located on the lower part of the horseshoe crab's body and are green or orange in color. In some Asian countries, it is considered an aphrodisiac, so it is in great demand and is very expensive. The caviar tastes too salty and feels rubbery to the touch. It is believed that orange is better than green, although for some reason some gourmets prefer green. However, in restaurants where horseshoe crab is a popular dish, they serve not only its caviar. Sometimes the body of an animal in a shell is also offered. In this case, the carcass is grilled and then transferred to a plate. You can separate the caviar from it yourself and eat it, but the rest of the animal is again not eaten. Sometimes horseshoe crab caviar is eaten for a reason, but added to salads. Before this, the horseshoe crab is boiled in boiling water for three minutes, cooled, the caviar is removed from it, washed thoroughly and placed in the salad. To sum it up, if a replacement for the horseshoe crab's blood is not found and its consumption is not stopped, there is a possibility that one of the most ancient creatures on earth will cease to exist. A and D the reason for this will not be natural causes, but human activity.